Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to start the lecture from lecture 3A. Yeah. For going this, I want to go towards logical effort, step number 5, it will be helpful. Logical effort. What do you think about what is a logical effort? Logical effort is a thing which determines the whole characteristics of a circuit. If let's say I have, a, I have an I say, I have an I say, I am giving input and getting output. How, how many time it takes from input to output is called, it is basically logical effort. A designer and, uh, and uh, uh, IC designer at the, at the place of designing think about this effort, this thing that how much delay we required and this is uh, uh, behaves in form of logical effort. Logical effort uh, is the outline introduction, delay in a logic gate, multi-stage logic state networks, choosing the best number of stages, examples and summary. Introduction. This is a very simple example of a chip designer uh, who is going to design a RAM um, which is accessible through a decoder. He wants to calculate its delays. Now just look at logical effort and see how he is going to calculate the delays. This is it. So basically delays in a logic circuit. How we relate these delays? Basically this delay is equivalent to DABS over tau. What is tau? Tau is basically RC constant. Tau 3RC or RC. If we modeled our design in RC or L model A model then we got some overall resistance and capacitances in the form of tau which is which can be get from this. Delay has two components. It is linear delay models. Delay has two components. One is logical effort and one is, sorry, one is parasitic delay and second is effort delay. Effort delay F, F is equal to GH. Uh, it basically depends on electrical effort and logical effort. Basically, effort delay and parasitic delay has two components. Uh, effort delay has two components. Uh, one is logical effort and the other is electrical effort. Logical effort. No, logical effort. Multi mayor relative ability of a gate to deliver current for inverter. It means that if it means that uh, we are going to compare it. Compare we, we are going to comparison a gate with a standard gate called as inverter. H. What is in it? It is sometimes called H is sometimes called as log uh, fan out it is basically see out our scene the output capacitance of the circuit to the input capacitance of the circuit now parasitic delay represent the delay of gate driving no load it's basically the leakage leakage delays if i have a gate i have ic creating some uh, some leakage current or leakage volta voltages which is called as parasitic causing the parasitic delays now this is the basic formula for d is equal to f plus p f is here uh, <clears throat> sorry, F is basically effort delay and P is uh, basically logic, uh, parasitic delay. F consists on logical effort, electrical effort and parasitic delays. Now here it has shown, uh, it has an inverter and uh, two input NAND gate. Now just calculate, uh, now inverter. Inverter is basically the standard and here is going to deal with that house if we are going to increase the age then the delays increases here are gpd gpd here for inverter g it can be calculated it can be calculated from table as we know g for an inverter g for an inverter is one as is, is all when parasitic delay of inverter is 1 and D is equal to H plus 1. It means that as we increase H, it will increase increment in delays and for 2 input NAND gate, G equal to 4 by 3, which means uh, if it is a 2 input NAND gate, it is 
n plus 2 divided by 3 and n is the number of inputs it has two inputs 2 plus 2 4 divided by 3 and parasitic deliver on uh, 9 radius 2 and here we come that it it is also a linearly changed as we increase the output capacitances our fan out its delay will increase for NOR gate uh, we have uh, g equal to 2n plus 1 divided by 3 which is uh, 5 by 3 parasitic delay again to so NAND gate has NOR gate sorry Norgate has some more delay than compared to NAND. So we can characterize that inverter has the lowest delays than NAND than NOR. Computing logical effort. What is logical effort? This is the basic definition. Logical effort is the ratio of the input capacitance of a gate to the input capacitance of an inverter delivering the same output current. It is just a comparison. Just the comparison. Here it shows that an inverter 2, 1, uh, inverter G equal to 3 by 3. Why 3 by 3? Because because we are dealing it with an inverter with the inverter. It's seen is 3 and this is 3. For this circuitry, if if you look at what is A, A is basically 2 on the uh, N side and 2 on the P side 4 and B is also 4 and 4. So that is our C in its 4 and divided by the capacitance of, of our in order. Here uh, uh, at the come uh, at the NOR gate 4 for A and 1 for uh, B 4 for B most and for uh, 1 for N most which is 5 and again same for B so that's why 5 by 3 uh, which is coming from the comparison uh, of an inverter. This is the basic a basic gate type uh, gate formula and has for logical efforts, NAND has N plus 2 divided by 3, 2 N plus 1 by 3 is for NOR, tri or max of 2, XOR, XNOR, 8, 16, 16, 8. This you can see this. And the parasitic delay is basically depends on the number of inputs. Uh, if a NAND get then an uh, NOR get an tri or max of 2, and inverter always 1. No, this is a, an example of a ring oscillator. What is meant, about, meant by a ring oscillator? Ring oscillator is basically As from the last table, you can see that the G of an inverter is 1. So you, you need to put it on and for every telephone to see what is the output uh, of uh, an inverter. Output the clusters of an inverter by input the clusters. Output it as a inverter again uh, is 1 or anything. So I'm going to input again inverter. So H is also 1 and parasitic delay is also 1. So everything is 1, 1, 1, 1. And then when we implement it, it goes to FG and plus B. Now this is this is something uh, a different example. Logical effort is always one for this inverter, but the electrical effort that one gate is driving four gates. That this electrical effort is C out of C, C out gates, its span out of C out is four, and its overall uh, electrical effort is four. And parasitic delay is again one, so it's five. The FOS delays is about 200 picosecond in 0 0.6 micron meter process 60 picoseconds in 118 meter process this is again multi-stage networks logical effort generalizing to multi-stage networks path logical effort is basically the pi pi into it's the form of a pi it's basically the multiplication of the logical effort in a path it let's say if it has a 10 stages 10 gates are connected then the total path logical effort is will be equal to logical effort first gate multiplied by logical effort second third and so on to end. path electrical effort is basically see out of the path what is the maximum output of the what is the output capacitance of the path divided by what is the input capacitance of the path uh, where path effort or which is normal, normally 
called as effort delay is path effort is denoted by large f is and equal to g i h i g i h i and then the multiplier here is an example of a of a four state network what is its output capacitance its output capacitance is 20 and input capacitance is 10 so for g g for an inverter is 1 g for an inverter is 1 g for a As two input XOR gate, uh, sorry, NOR gate is five by three, or G for NAND gate, two input is four by three. Now just look at H. What is H? H for the whole circuitry. How can we calculate? How can we find out the H of the circuit? H is output capacitance is X here, and the input is ten. X by ten. Output capacitance Y by X. Output capacitance is Z, or divided by the input capacitance Y, and here twenty by Z. Now we have calculated the output capacitance is R. Electrical efforts. Now we need to just traverse back and finding the values of x and y. Yeah, right. Can we write f equal to g h? Yes, of course we can write f equal g h. Now path that branch. Now if uh, that was a multi-stage series path, now the path with branching. Here it comes. The logical effort is always again, again one, one, one. As you can see, one. And the electrical effort will be now. Just look at the electrical efforts. At this stage, electrical effort will be 90 by 15. But at the whole path, which is mentioned there, you can see that 90 by 5 is the logical, sorry, electrical effort there, and 90 by 5 the uh, the electrical effort there on both parts. And their multiplication will be G H. And for H1 calculation, it will be H1 means that the electrical effort of path one will be. 90 by 55 and electrical effort of part part 2 will be 19 by 5 90 by 15 sorry 90 by 15 why should i am taking 90 by 15 because h1 is only for 90 and 15 uh, not get 90 and 15 not get 90 by 15 90 by 15 6 6 and which is uh, this is overall 18 So can we say that F equal to G1 G2 H1 H2 equal to 36 times? Yeah, it is equal to 2 to G. So we can introduce the concept of the branching. That if we have introduced the branching, so we can link path electrical path delays path effort path effort is will be equal to branch B G H branching multiplied by the path electrical effort multiplied by path logical effort. Here it comes the branch. Introduced in the branching effort accounts. What is the branching effort? B equal to C on the path plus C of the path divided by C on the path. Uh, this is B H F equal to G B H. Now multi-stage delays F uh, uh, path effort delay F I path parasitic delay D I and path delay is the summation of D F plus parasitic. D I basically the sum of Summation or uh, sum of F I and P I. Now we have looked at the delays. Now we are going in a different way. That if I have an example, uh, do designer and I C and the manufacturer gives me specification that I require uh, this number of gates. No. Will not. I never give give you the air. Let's say we give you the number of inputs, number of outputs. Uh, he want to do this, this, this thing, and need this delay. For that, we need uh, some different things. Uh, we need to use these formulas. Uh, F under root one over n, where n is the number of stages, stages in the path, and total delay is equal to n F one over n plus p. You will got pure knowledge of this after. I'm sorry, after now in an example. Here is the gate sizing. F equal to G H. H can be replaced as C or double C in. C in equal to finding the output capacitance is our delay. Finding the input capacitance is our gate size. How much lower the C in, the lower the size, and so on. Uh, how much? This is example. You got many things. Select gate. Sizes x and y for least delay from A to B. It has how many branches? Now just look at select gate sizes. Now we need to calculate the least delay 
and then with this they calculate the minimum sizes so this is this is this kind of examples this kind of design work